Nashville Edmonton 9-6 on the rotation. Nashville minus 145 to minus 150 road favorites here. The total six across the board. Don't really have much opinion on this game. I mean, I, uh, I'm not taking Edmonton. I don't like Edmonton. We talked about it. They lost the other night to San Jose. Okay, they beat Anaheim in a shootout. Uh, they've been competitive lately, but I, I don't like the defensive play with this team. It's uh, atrocious on a lot of nights. Uh, Cam Talbot has not had the season he's hoped for. Nashville's clearly the better of these two teams. Nashville's off a thrilling come-from-behind win against Winnipeg the other night. Let down potential, maybe, but uh, I don't know. That's a good Nashville team. Uh, if I'm if I'm betting Edmonton banking on a Nashville letdown, that's not enough of a reason for me uh, to back the Oilers here uh, in this hockey game. Nashville's the better team. I, I would not be looking at Edmonton here uh, in this game. Not involved, but... Uh, uh, I like Nashville not going against them. Great job by them the other night. 5-3 down in the third period against Winnipeg. Uh, they, they can't, that game exploded for goals left and right in the second and third period, uh, and they roar back to beat the Jets 6-5 uh, in that hockey game. Nashville can win the Stanley Cup, certainly can win the Western Conference. Uh, that team's loaded the defensively, if, uh, even offensively up front. They're a fast skating team. Uh, it's just about Pecorine. Can he get the job done back there? Lots to like with Nashville. Not so much with Edmonton. Dana Lane, you've got Nashville Edmonton on the card. What do you see here? Well, I went to sleep last night hoping this game wasn't going to be a dollar sixty because it was right uh, teetering on the edge of a uh, dollar fifty last night when I went when when I went to sleep. But uh, woke up and it's right around a dollar forty, so we like that number a lot more. And uh, certainly, this is not a game that I would normally get involved in after a huge victory. Uh, over the Winnipeg Jets, which Nashville had. Uh, but I am going to ride this streak, even though that number is is a little high. Um, this is a team that has won five straight games. In those five games, they've only given up 10 goals in those matchups. Uh, one of those was the five-goal game to Winnipeg. So if you take that out, uh, you're looking at a team that's allowed just five goals in their last four games. And uh, if a team is playing well defensively, especially as well as Nashville is, uh, I'm definitely going to ride them until they prove that they're not uh, worthy of my bank account or my bankroll anymore. Um, you do have to give, like you mentioned, Ian, you got to give them credit because uh, coming back from a 3-1 deficit, coming back from a 5-3 deficit in a very difficult place to play shows me that that Nashville has a lot of character. Do I think they're the best team in the West right now? We'll have to see about that. I, I still am pretty high on, on Vegas, and I'm, I'm still – I know it's crazy because they, they've been horrible. I'm still not ready to put St. Louis to bed, but um, as far as this game is concerned, the Predators have had no problem uh, problem in, in historically going into Rogers' place and winning. In fact, they've won five straight games. There is no reason not to take Nashville in this game. Just give up a little juice, go to the window, and get the victory. There you go. It's as simple as that. I think it could be as simple as that because, you know, <laughs> I don't know if Edmonton's going to be able to slow down this team a whole lot. That sounds uh, they're like in a little bit of a... I know. It's like it's... Go to the window. Go to the window. Catch your ticket. Let's go. Yeah. Go to the window. There it is. I feel like Dana's done that before, maybe. Where's your ad deal? No. I, I, no, I sir. Like I, I, don't, good. I, don't, I don't do those things. That was smooth, See, Dana. I got to say that was smooth. That was smooth. Hey, listen, guys, I, I and I write this a lot. It Sometimes it's just sitting right in front of you. OK, this is just yeah. like the other night. I forgot which game it was, but these things are sitting right in front of you. Don't sit there and try to be cute because you don't want to lay a dollar thirty. Do you care about the, Would you rather get a victory or sit around worrying about laying a dollar thirty in the game? Go get something that's sitting right in front of you, and Nashville minus a dollar forty is sitting right there for the taking. If you're hungry, I you like sweets, and there's and, and there's a cookie sitting on the plate. What are you gonna do? No, no, no. I, I don't think I'm gonna get that cookie. Or are you gonna go get the cookie and eat it? What are you gonna do? Yeah, there you go. And you know what? <laughs> I think, guys, that uh, it's important for us to possibly mention this a little bit, and I don't think it'll change people's minds too much. And you know, I've heard, I've heard Ian, I've heard you talk about it. I've heard Alex talk about this a few times. But I think it's important that people be careful with who they're just throwing on parlays. You know, I saw in the chat just a few moments ago, uh, someone talking about throwing, they lost the parlay on the Islanders last night. And, uh, you know, everyone's making these four-team parlays with massive favorites. I mean, you got to keep in mind something. When Dana says that, he, he he's talking about a select game that he likes in that Nashville game. It's not like 
every team that's you know paying that minus 140 minus 150 minus 160 is that lock of the night you know that, that's what that's what's really tiresome because look i'm not going to sit here and tell anybody to never take a parlay in their life i'm not going to sit here and say that but the fact is you can't have your parlay being your you know your most kind of like exciting bet of the night you can't you can't really have that you got to have your stationary single bets where you've breaking, broken down the games and, and looked at it and really understood. You can't just look at these high favorites because, like we mentioned earlier on in the show, guys, sometimes teams are overpriced, sometimes they're underpriced. Uh, and like these guys are saying right now, sometimes it's just they're staring at you right in the friggin' face. And all you got to do, like like Gabriel Morenci always says, Ian, and I, I love when he says this, he goes, I can't click the button for you. He's like, I'm giving you the information. I can't click the yeah. button for you. But But again, it's not always like that. That's what I'm saying. So we ha- we have to really be careful with that because it really bothers me, uh, Dana, and I. It, I hate I hate seeing it on on Twitter, especially when people are had this great night and they you know they went like four for five on their parlay and it could have been a great night if they had singular bets. Uh, but all of a sudden, yeah. uh, you know, the New York Islanders had one bad game against the Habs and, and they're losing their parlay. So I think it's important for us to mention that. I understand, you know, this isn't exactly what this show is about, but I think it's definitely important that we kind of notch that on because. While you are line shopping and look at those lines and, and the odds that we're getting, it's important to realize that not every massive favorite is going to come out with a win every night. So Yeah, I know it was against yeah, Montreal, I against but Montreal. I'd, I'd find better things I'd to do with my money than put New York Islanders in a parlay, but that's just me. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.